Art is like magic, the science of manipulating symbols, words or images to achieve changes in consciousness. Alan Moore, one of the quotes that I use in my latest book, Symbolic Artifacts. And it opens a very interesting conversation for us as mystery performers, mentalists, magicians, whichever label you want to use. How can we manipulate symbols to create changes in consciousness? This sounds very strange for some people in the mystery performance community, but if we really reflect upon it, we are doing exactly like that. We manipulate symbols, not just in the in out reality of the performance, but also in the inner reality, in the methods, in the techniques that we use. And it's very interesting that sometimes we use the concept of manipulation as the sleight of hand techniques that we create, right? And also, obviously, we manipulate the symbols through the performance, through the interaction and the conversation. So we are expressing through performance a new possibility of interpretations of the symbols. Let's put a very simple example. The use of playing cards in mentalism or any type of cards or any type of property. Why are we using that type of prop? Let's say ESP cards. Why ESP cards are not playing cards or tarot? What is the deeper meaning that we want to communicate? So as you can see, through our script, but most importantly, through our nonverbal language and in a way our mental language, what we are doing is manipulating symbols in a conscious way. Sometimes we are not conscious about that and that's the problem because sometimes we are not aware that we are communicating some ideas that we don't really intend to communicate. Let's say that we are doing a gambling demonstration with a pack of cards and we as mentalists are able to cheat at cards, right? It's a very fun premise if you want, but why that and not why other one? Maybe you like that and it's fine, but maybe if you apply reflection you realize that maybe that's not the symbol that I want to manipulate right so the manipulation of symbols is inherent in our performance even if you are aware of that or not we are doing it so that's why I feel that's so important that our conversation is not just about into the physical aspects of magic or mentalism you know it's fine if we want to focus into the latest thing or you know, of course we are arcanosophy we offer different pendulums and objects it's fine but that's not the only conversation right and sometimes we understand this type of books or any other like theory books like they are not relevant or they are not as relevant as the practical aspects and I beg to differ both are essentials they coexist because theory without practice is just a mental exercise without action but practice without theory is just a mediocre type of attitude and activity so we need to think about it about which symbols we bring to our performance and why let's put another example I love to create this type of dynamic of drawing duplication like our grandfather Aneman did with his approach to the extra sensory perception. If you don't know that piece, you can find it on the Jinx. And I have a version in which I use the symbol deck from Akarosopi. And I love that because Obviously, it's a very simple and direct use of symbols and drawings and, and different visual interesting images. But I also performed that piece for a very specific reason. Because if you think about it and if you know about handling playing cards and 
any type of cart, you realize that we can give people some symbols to contemplate, to reflect upon it. And if we are able to let someone choose a specific one, and if you are a performer, you know what I mean, you can literally give someone a symbol that you feel they need or a symbol that will bring a positive transformation in the consciousness of that participant for a brief moment of course the interaction but who knows maybe that symbol can bring new awareness for the near future and you know it's not about forcing transformation but allowing transformation and if we are conscious about the fact of which symbol I want to give to the participant maybe that performance will become something much deeper with a deeper impact because we are truly doing something in a metaphysical level we are giving someone a symbol to ponder so let's say that my participant is focusing in a flower or in the yin yang symbol or in a tree any type of the symbols that we have in our deck you can bring this symbol into the consciousness of your participant and that symbol in itself can create a very beautiful effect by itself so now the word effect we can understand it through a different way not just the outer reality or the phenomena but that the symbol in itself can has a deeper impact that even ourselves can't handle in a way because the symbol will impact the participant in a unique way and we know that because our performance our interaction it will be a constructive one right so symbols are fundamental and if we don't reflect about them we will create a performance without the symbolic awareness that mentalism or magic or any type of mystery performance deserves in my opinion of course so i hope that this these ideas can bring to you a new insight some inspiration and if not maybe we can talk in another video in another topic and maybe that makes sense to you my work here is done thank you very much for watching this video have a beautiful day